in power with one machine. So there's no oil burning, there's no fires going on or anything, so, wh wh where, wh so where's the energy coming from? We're harnessing it straight away from the, the, nat the natural energy that God has just to put in the, in, in, in our, on our earth, yeah, the radio frequency. So nothing unusual, but the main point is that a meter away there's no frequencies being transmitted from a, a microwave tower uh, next to the park we're standing in. It's a poignant day for us here. And amidst the excitement of seeing this for the first time, a couple of strangers showed up on the site where we were being shown these devices. And Maxwell, the inventor, took us aside as soon as he could and said, these guys are from the government, and I didn't know they were coming. Unfortunately, we're, we're truly concerned about this gentleman, and we're just going to take every precaution that we can to keep ourselves safe, to keep him safe, and to keep this knowledge safe. Hello guys, I told you guys that I'm going to be bringing updates about the Zimbabwe guy that have made Safe Power TV that was able to transform uh, a, a fredo frequency into electricity. So there is this scientist, there are these engineers that travel that came all the way from California and uh, I think yes, United States of America to check on his inventions so he carried them to the station i want you to also listen to him and understand his perspectives about his inventions this i'll, I'll just allow you to watch the video and see it for yourself where he explained himself very well generator and even a helicopter that ran on radio frequencies a true free energy device that keeps batteries consistently charged it took me several months to find him but when i did it blew my mind I knew it would be complicated because these things always are. Going to Zimbabwe, the Ethiopian airline that we had tickets with had just had a major crash and a cyclone had just ravaged the area, leaving hundreds dead. Well, we're sitting at a hotel in Harare, Zimbabwe this morning. We're here today to start the vetting process and find out, okay, what, what's real? Over 95% of the time, these things aren't what they claim to be. This time we took engineer Nils Rognerud to assist with the vetting. When Nils and I arrived and met Maxwell, I was very impressed with just what a gentle, true-seeming soul he was. And then the next morning, we went to see the device and he gave us a full tour. I was practically ecstatic. It was such a beautiful, elegant device. What we're looking at is called the green power of grid machine. It is half a megawatt, and we are relying with the radio frequency. We harness a radio frequency converted into pure energy that is useful. It is called a microsonic energy device. A microsonic energy device, it is the generator in this machine. For people who are not familiar with this, half a megawatt, how much will that power in terms of a house or a community or what? We are talking of about 300 uh, standard house homes. Yeah, okay. that you can power with one machine. So there's no oil burning, there's no fires going on or anything. So, wh wh where, wh so where's the energy coming from? We're harnessing it straight away from the, the, na the natural energy that God has just put in the, in, in, in our, on our earth. Yeah, the radio frequency. So nothing unusual, but the main point is that a meter away, there's no frequencies being transmitted from a, a microwave tower. Uh, next to the park we're standing in. It's a poignant day for us here. And amidst the excitement of seeing this for the first time, a couple of strangers showed up on the site where we were being shown these devices. And Maxwell, the inventor, took us aside as soon as he could and said, these guys are from the government, and I didn't know they were coming. Unfortunately, we're, we're truly concerned about this gentleman. And we're just going to take every precaution that we can to keep ourselves safe, to keep him safe, and to keep this knowledge safe. The microphone we had on Maxwell picked up the conversation that he had with one of the officials. So we quickly got the tape translated and found out that the government official was promising Maxwell a power purchase agreement where the government would pay him for generating energy for the country. It was good corroboration that they believed he had what he claimed 
Although, Maxwell didn't trust him because the government had already put him in prison in an effort to steal his technology. A brief trip into the future with inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo. He's claiming a scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology, an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy. At the power train, we did it in-house, uh, which makes it uh, the, fa- the first electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging sy- systems. On the greener power off-grid machine, it's very in- unique for the first time uh, energy is being generated uh, using a radio frequency and without moving paths. Chikumbutso is not the typical scientist. He dropped out of school aged 14 and says he's developed his blueprints through research and visions from God. A showroom in Harare showcases his prototypes. A helicopter that operates using any one of the five fuels, including paraffin, a drone and a household transformer that he says can multiply power a hundredfold. But he says breaking his disruptive technology into the world has not been easy. He's failed to patent his work. That's why we end up finding nuclear scientists, electromagnetic professors, so that they can assist us on the patent process. But as you are aware that in, in patents, anything that violates the laws of physics is not an industrial applicable solution. They classify it as a perpetual motion device. Luis Kupenala, a South African-based Angolan businessman, has poured millions into the project, but now believes it's time to commercialize. He says the Angolan government and a Brazil private energy player have signed up to buy some of their products, but that other investors don't generally believe anything credible can come out of Africa. We just sell from our skin color. We don't believe on ourselves. But obviously a a new generation has another responsibility to change this kind of paradigm to another level whereby we have to capitalize on our abilities in Africa. Zimbabwean scientists who spoke to the SABC also expressed skepticism, but Chikumbutso brushes the naysayers aside. He says he's determined to ensure that his God-given gift brings energy to light up the continent and put Zimbabwe on the technological map. Big Blue started at 4.36 p.m. We're here with Maxwell and the test is starting. Once we arrived on site, our goal for the vetting was to establish that the device could power a welding machine, which uses a lot of electricity very quickly, for long enough that it couldn't be running on batteries alone. So you were asking where the energy came from. You mentioned the other day the sun, but it's not like solar energy, right? No, it's not. We're not using solar energy because this one is not even affected with clouds, light, and things like that. It just works. So the the energy, the the radio frequencies that you're harnessing, are they there in space, in the field, all the time? Yes, they are. From the first day we started to test the machine, we have been analyzing and we saw that the radio frequency is there. But one thing that we want to know for sure is, is it alien or is it go- Is it man-made from another planet or <laughs> is it from God? That's where we need, I think, scientifically, scientific people to define exactly. But we know the radio frequency, we have everything. Yeah. If it's still a fully charged battery? The test is successful. It's not spruce. Oh, that's 217. That's, that's, that's perfect. We get it. So that's the, that's the 18 batteries. Yeah, that's the 18 batteries. Oh, yeah. So that's higher than the nominal voltage. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. That is awesome. That's the 18 uh, volt batteries. So it has higher voltage. <laughs> Thank you. Give us two thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> One final check of the battery voltage revealed a shocking result. Not only had the machine outlasted the expected battery life, but the batteries were still fully charged. This proved that the device was being powered from an unknown energy source. <laughs> thank you. This is one of the happiest days of my life. Thank you. And I am so proud of this man who has gone through so much. He's listened to the voice of the divine coming through him and he's 
done whatever it takes to bring this through for humanity. So congratulations, my friend. Thank you so much. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> now we're going to get you well. The test we did yesterday is historic. Uh, I still am digesting it because it basically means the end of fossil fuels. One of the, of, of the painful realities I have seen in, the, in energy is this is a very dangerous game altogether, yeah, especially free energy because, uh, um, you know, as I said, if they can try to, 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 kill, to kill it using professional people, and that has happened to me, I went through a lot, poisons, like I'm saying right now, I'm fighting it. They come to you, then they said, no, you mustn't do this. Uh, when they see that, you know, you're, you're not giving up, then they can just affirm you. Then they can say, no, you've done ABC. My prayer is this thing must see the light of the day.